report. Well, yes, we did hear the Senate president speak on the back page of uh, Vanguard Sports today. Defeat, not an option for the Super League as well. Nam is here again to talk about that one. We're looking forward to this big match. But two things we should note here. South yeah. Africa, not under any pressure. They qualified the yeah, well. So they're coming here to have fun. Uh, and they could spoil the party for Nigeria. They're, they're not coming to have fun. Um, they've never beaten Nigeria in a competitive game. Um, yeah, but Shakes, Shakes will it matter now that they've, they've qualified? It will even be sweeter for them to defeat Nigeria right now because that ends our chances of going to the Nations Cup. Mm -hmm. So they'll kill two birds with one stone, um, stop the old enemy, unquote, from qualifying and also um, win their first competitive match against Nigeria. So yes, they are under no pressure. Um, they are relaxed. We are the ones who have all the pressure. And I don't think the Senate, com Senate President's comment helps matters uh, because that's um, even more pressure. You know, and then a, a lot of factors are still coming in now. If we win this match and we qualify, will Kenshi keep his job? Will he go? So all those things are still hanging over and around the camp. The only good news is um, everybody's fit. Um, everybody is in uh, top shape. Babana is going to be missing from that match. Well, um, be, well even, before, even before the match, Kenshi had been shaking up his defense. So um, we, we've seen um, Ambrose play central. We've seen uh, um, Oshinawa play on the left. So, it's in terms of defense, um, or like the former winning was Obrabona, Omero, Echejile, Ambrose, the defense. So, even, even though he will be missing, it will not be um, a, a great loss like that because it's he's been catching up and shaking it up to be no fairness to him. Is he quickly going to play that much because his pace he could be done for his pace the against the South African side? The truth is, in the last match, the last of the great were picked, um, the more physical players, not the fastest, were picked because we had to go and bully a result. You know, we needed people who were working and would be ready to do whatever it takes to get the victory. But now um, we're going to see, I'm, I'm guessing, we're going to see more of our old formations. You're going to see a more technical side. You're going to see a side that has more uh, foreign base players, more established on core players in this side. Because um, I, don't, I don't think bringing a wrong Wogget side would be sensible against South African side where most of them play in the PSL, for the top clubs in the PSL. Um, there's a pattern of play. Sheikh Mashaba has brought them back. Um, in Roma, um, in the sun, they play the more European um, style of football. Yes, their style is still like that, but now it's more they are entertaining South African type of football. So it's faster, it's quicker, there's more interchange, and there's more flair. So they know this game. It's their game. So we have to bring a team that um, can think. We need a thinking team to play South Africa. A, a regular team is not the team we bring right now. If not, like you already said, we'll be run. Uh, ragged by them. The last match we had against them uh, in South Africa, yeah. we were done for our pace too. Yes. They ran rings around our defense. They ran rings so around our defense, but um, I don't know if Kershaw remembers anything from that match. They were also very vulnerable from crosses and set pieces. Um, I've never seen a team more vulnerable than Nigeria, but that night I, I saw one, and we might have to depend on that. I mean, I want to think of bringing in um, a lot of big, tall players, and I want to flip balls to the box. Of course, um, it's a 30 70 chance, 30 percent of him a chance of making a good cross because I don't know if we train on those things. I've always complained about that, but that's the one way we can get South Africa spring them quickly like that, try to get them with crosses, deep balls, and from the set pieces. We should not try to move the ball around too much in our own half because if we lose possession, we're in serious trouble. Um, we bump forward in numbers, we're in trouble, but we cannot sit back. We're the home team. We're expected to do something in South Africa, get confident early. We're going to lose the home crowd, and they're going to just run rather than run right That'll out of be dangerous. All right. Thank you for coming on, Andy. We'll look forward to that match tonight. Uh, yes, uh, Nigeria, South Africa. We'll be back after this. Don't go away. All right. There you go. That's it today on the program. We thank you all for watching, and uh, you can keep your questions coming through. We'll follow them to the FRC call match up. But for now, it's a wrap. Thank you for watching. I'm Chamberlain Uso. Well, thank you. I'm Maupe Ogun. And I'm Nell Taibe. Thank you for sending in your comments. Have a great day.